Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wasn't actually going to do a video because I've had such a busy week this week. Yeah, I haven't had time to do a lot. But I've decided instead, instead of ap applying makeup and stuff, I am going to just do like a picture video. Um, so you still get something to watch or listen to. But yeah, I think I'm just going to take a week off this week and just do that. I might do that from now on, actually. Have one week, like every five weeks or something, off. Because it does get a lot. Doing all the research and getting time to film the videos and stuff. It's, um, it's very time consuming. But it's something that I do enjoy doing and I will continue doing. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to have that one week off every five weeks. Um, today's case is about an 88 year old lady called Mary Ferns and she disappeared in 2008. Yeah she was an elderly lady, she went out shopping and basically never came home. Um, she is missing still today, um, nobody's there's no body or anything been found and nobody knows where she went. So I thought I would um, just give this um, this case some recognition, just in case, you know, anybody knows anything. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what today's case is going to be. And um, yeah, let's get into it. This is the cold case of Mary Ferns. On June the 17th, 2008, 88-year-old Mary Ferns, or May as she was also known as, told her husband that she needed to go to the shops for some new tights. She said she was going to the Almond Vale Shopping Centre in Livingston, Scotland. It's now known as the Centre. Her husband Bill, who was 83, said his wife went out around 9.30am but sadly she never came home. Later on, he called friends and family to see if anyone had seen or been in contact with Mary. He also reported her as a missing person to the police, with the hope that she would return safe and unharmed. The last confirmed sighting of Mary was from CCTV footage of her walking along Prince's Street in Edinburgh, about 17 miles away. She seemed relaxed and happy, but it is still unclear to this day why she went to Edinburgh to begin with when there were so many shops nearer to her where she could purchase these tights. Sadly, this was the last time anyone saw Mary. Investigators were confused as to why Mary went to Edinburgh and how she got there. Some people have said she was seen getting on a bus to the capital. Skeletal remains were found on the edge of the river Almond in Livingston in April of 2011. They had been searching the area since January. The remains were partially burned less than one mile away from Mary's home in Vancouver Avenue. It was revealed that the remains weren't Mary's on February the 23rd, 2012. They belonged to a man that vanished 15 years earlier called James Adams. James Adams was a 58-year-old man who went missing in 1996. He had health issues, so police didn't find his death suspicious. There aren't many details available on Mary's case. She was featured on a BBC Missing Persons appeal in 2009. Her daughter also made an appeal for help a year later. But that was it. The case came to a standstill. Mary Ferns was described as a white woman with short grey hair and green eyes. She had a slim build and was about 5 foot 3. She also had a blue floral walking stick with a brass handle that she often used. Mary was wearing a brown three-quarter length jacket, brown skirt and brown shoes. She also had a brown handbag on the day of her disappearance. If you have any information on Mary Ferns' disappearance, 
please get in contact with UK Crime Stoppers on 0800 That's 0800 You can also go on missingpeople.org.uk if you have any information on her disappearance. You can call or text them on 116000 for free. That's 116000 for free. Using reference number 08-013311. That's 08-013311. I honestly can't imagine what her daughter and the rest of her family must be thinking and feeling. If this had happened to my mother, I honestly wouldn't stop until I got answers. I I just couldn't handle that. Um, so yeah, this must be really, really difficult on the family, which is why it's really important for us to try and get some answers for them. Um, yeah, it, it must be really difficult. So if anyone knows anything about this, please, please get in contact with um crime stoppers and um help the family out i'll be back on wednesday with a solved case and uh, i shall see you then bye <laughs>